the problem one of the exercise which you have in your hands which is about producing a table after getting the number from the user uh, so display table something like this which makes sense and we need to have a label two buttons uh, one text box and one list box as you see in your exercise over here I'm, I'm actually recording this and I'll share with you my code which you are welcome to see um, uh, later on or even right now so view toolbox I'm going to open the uh, create the label and then buttons two buttons and then one text box and then one list box okay I have all these items on my screen now the text box can come here the buttons can come here and the label can come here make sure the the screen is crisp looking it is not looking bad you will get some marks for aligning also okay do not lose these marks these are basically free marks so the label should display enter a number so I'll write here enter a number and then the text box there's no text here but I'll give it a name so I can remember number txt this button let's give it a name and it's called calc btn and this is a button it's called clear btn and this is a list box let me just n name it table list box so the buttons text should be what does it say calculate and the clear should be clear so my interface is almost complete make sure you are you are aligning it in a way that it looks good okay let's make it a little more stretched towards the towards its length so it looks good let me just see my interface I'll play it this is how my interface is this is calculate this is clear maybe I need to put them a little closer otherwise it looks okay okay so <clears throat> clear basically what it should do it should delete whatever the user has entered here and delete the contents in the list box the table calculate is our actual business logic okay so I'll start with the calculate what does my pseudocode says what does my pseudocode say? for convenience if you like to see I'll write the pseudocode over here uh, the pseudocode here so <coughs> you can refer to it later on also if you like so this is the comments this is the comment actually this is the first class we did comments slash star and star slash this is comment whatever you want to write comment to remember this is multiple line comment double slash is single line comment I'm reminding you again because it's the first class we did in, the, in this course and slash star star slash this is starting and beginning respectively of multiple line comments so I'll write your code over here the pseudo code so you can remember it says <coughs> get number and if number is less than equal to 1 and number is less than equal to 10 <coughs> there's a bracket and it says for int counter is equal to 1 counter is less than equal to 10 counter plus plus this is my my English um, basically in in pseudocode it is not necessary to write these brackets but if you're for conf to remove confusions you can you're welcome to write this the for loop says for int counter or counter is 1 counter is less than equal to 10 oh I've done this already so basically you just need to display display number multiply by counter equals to number multiply by counter which is the actual calculation 
So you don't have to write these int because it's a pseudo code. It's not. It's not the C sharp. So basically, it's loose English which you write. So now I go ahead and write the code following these numbers. How do I get the number? I have to first of all declare a variable. Declare variable. So int number is zero, nothing right now. <coughs> and then I'll get the number. So let's read it. Read number from user. So number is equal to number txt dot text. And now I need to convert this into integer. I am doing this part now, get number, which is the pseudocode. You know this already, we have seen this int dot parse. We read what the user has written here, basically, up till now only this. What the user has written here, we want to read it. So we read that over here, here, and the first step obviously is declaring the variable. The second step it says is the if statement. This if statement I'm going to write here in C sharp. Check if number between 1 and 10. I do this through if. If number is greater than or equal to 1, double and this is how you write. And in C sharp, number is less than or equal to 10. Then you do something. So I put a bracket over here. These two brackets will be doing something. What something? It will be running a loop and displaying inside the list box the values. Otherwise, display this error message if it is not between 1 and 10. So otherwise, there is an else. Message box dot show and display a message here. Please enter number between 1 and 10. So let's let's test this. It's not working 100% now. But let me just test. I write, for example, 12. Calculate. Please enter number between 1 and 10. So the else is working. It's not between 1 and 10. My if and else is working. What does the if says? If number is greater than 1 and number is less than 10. Meaning it is between 1 and 10 then do this we have not written this code we'll come back to it now but the else is working so we want to check this the if and else is working so if it is like 2 3 4 which is the true like say 4 calculate nothing happens because we have not written the code but it's not going to else which is correct so we just checked our code right now now we need to do this for loop the for loop only two lines for int counter is 1 counter less than equal to 10 counter plus plus and basically display over here only so I to display on a list box you have to get the reference to the list box dot items dot add remember so table list box is the name of the list box now please notice you have to use these suggestions from the code. Do not keep writing and <coughs> making mistakes of spellings. These are needless issues which will waste your time. Control space give you code suggestion. So I don't remember exact spelling but I remember I started with table. So I write TAB, it brings me where? Table list box. Select this dot items dot add and here I need to write this string number multiply counter is equal to the actual result now you have to use your string concatenation here the lesson of string concatenation how to combine two three four strings and numbers together remember we did that string concatenation string concatenation by adding plus so I'll write that number this is what the user has written plus then the multiply sign this multiply sign and then plus and what should by be I writing here number multiply by counter 
and then no I need to show I need to show equal so plus equal in the in the string because it's a string so you have to remember your string concatenation you add the strings together number multiply by counter equals to between them plus that's how string is added together and plus yes number multiply counter khalas so basically what it is doing is 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 4 because this is string concatenate let's test this let's test this so 2 calculate 2 multiply 1 is 2, 2 multiply 2 is 4 and then it goes on now we need to know how to clear also how to clear so we go to the clear button double click it and how to clear the text box what's the text box name number txt dot text is an empty string next class I cleared the text box to no value whatever the user has written and how do you clear the list box the table list box dot items dot clear please remember this it is coming in the exam alright thank you very much for your watching 